Tales, which I invite you to call in. If you love QVC, if you've purchased a tree from us before, Home Reflections, if it's a brand you love and already own. I have two questions for everybody watching as we get into this, because the tree is the apex of the holiday. I want to know when you put yours up. I'll just tell you right now, I put mine up almost at Halloween, if not the day after. And what's your favorite ornament on your tree? So noodle on that while we do this. I grew up, and we, most of us did, regardless of the decade it was, before modern times allowed us to have faux trees that were so real you'd think you could smell them. I grew up with my dad and my brother going down Big Beaver Road in Troy, Michigan in the 70s, and we went to the Christmas tree farm. And the Douglas fir, we would walk around that freezing cold farm stand and we would pick one out. I still don't remember how dad got it on top of the car. And yeah, I mean, it's a charming memory, but <laughs> I tried reenacting it a few years ago. I'll just skip to the chase. We put the tree in our family room so that everyone could love and enjoy it. And of course, we also love building and burning fires. The tree was dropping needles on day two. By day five, it was dead and we hadn't even hit Thanksgiving yet. Okay, so let's talk about Home Reflections tree. This is a faux tree that on top of looking so real with so many lush tips and the green that doesn't look too glossy or shiny, hence plasticky, but literally looks like someone just chopped it down. This is a tree now from our house brand Home Reflections that is new today. We'll ship to you in September on the 13th, so don't worry about where to put it over the summer months. You're gonna have a couple choices to make, but the big story here is, have you heard of the over lighting trend? I like to call it extra. You know how everyone uses the word extra to describe things? Over lighting means it's got like double the lights, the most ridiculous amount. If you are a girl that's like, or a guy, more is better. Bigger is better, more is better. The lights, they've put more on and they're done in that kind of firefly, fairy kind of light size and look. The tree, hang on, let me get my remote, is also color flip. So if you normally fight over if you like it white or colored, you don't have to anymore. The grandkids can get their fun colors and you and your honey or you and your adult friends, if you're loving kind of what Joe calls white and polite, you're gonna get twinkle and fade and steady, but you're also with the remote control gonna be able to flip between color and white with the most amount of lights we've ever done. As I walk over here, I want to show you the choices because here's now where it gets really fun, except one has already sold out. The first choice you're going to need to make, and remember, you're reserving yours now so that it can ship to you in September. The first choice is, do you like a green tree? I just showed you them. Or do you like a flocked? Which last year, we didn't have nearly enough in inventory, and they were the first choice to sell out in all sizes by, like, lunchtime. So here we are, green or flocked. Friends, green or flocked. No, color is not a choice. You get color flip technology. It can be white and color all in one. Now, once you know that, let's talk sizes. The smallest size is five feet. Five feet costs 65 bucks plus to get home on easy pay. I'm also gonna tell you it has almost 900 lights 1600 lush tips so don't ever worry about oh i can see through to the pole which the pole is where the power is it assembles in two sections you're literally done in pouring wine in no time flat in the five foot we have 900 in the green 900 in the flocked then she's done six and a half foot you can get home for 87 bucks on easy pay again 1500 plus lights extra lights and 3,000 tips. No one will ever know it's not real. The green is gone, all you can do is flocked in that. That comes in two sections. It may actually be three sections. Um, then in the flocked, I will just tell you, we have in six and a half feet tall, 900 remaining, and then we are officially done. I'm gonna skip over seven and a half for a second and tell you about the granddaddy, the nine, because we have a nine foot in our foyer. It is so majestic, and if you can do it, you are saving almost $400 on it compared to retail. You're also getting 3,500 lights on this tree. It comes in green or flocked. 
So again, green or flocked. And I'm going to tell you, nine foots are typically the first to sell out. The nine foot flocked. We have six dozen remaining, and we have about 600 in the green nine foot. Then lastly, seven and a half foot. Um, this is the one that's in our family room. We have green and flocked. You're saving about $350 off retail. You're also getting 2,200 lights and 4,100 tips. Um, so, I mean, however you want to slice and dice it. Um, and by the way, the seven and a half comes in three sections. The nine comes in four. Um, the six and a half and five come in two. They assemble thanks to a power pole. They have steady LED um, power. So if one burns out, they all stay lift, lit and they all go together seamlessly in seconds. You'll see our guests show that. Plus they come with a foot pedal. They come with a six and an eight hour timer. And that means it's a buck 50 for two months to run it on the six hour timer, November to the end of December from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. And it's costing you $1.50 to run it. Now the retail value is why we always say we're the place to buy it guys. And we have a holiday return policy. I've bought a faux tree from the queue and returned it after the holiday season because I was displeased with it. No problems, gave me my money back. So this really is a way to take all of the care and concern and hassle out of the process and then have a tree for life that you're not having to continue purchasing and keeping up with every holiday season. All right, so here's where we're at as we invite in our guest, Amy Scaglione, who brings us Home Reflections. Um, Shannon's already calling in from North Carolina. By the way, I was just thinking about this today, Amy. So Shannon's calling in from North Carolina. We'll take her call in a hot second. The heat wave that's unprecedented on the oh. West Coast is oh. literally decimating Christmas tree farms. They're, they're calling oh, their trees shame. sunburnt now. They can't sell them. Oh. And on the North Carolina coast, they literally just had Hurricane Elsa come through. So the other stories in local news on that side of the country is good luck finding a tree because Christmas tree farms have been pulverized. And if you can, you're going to be paying gobs more if you want the real fresh kind. So I feel like now is the time, Ames, for getting yourself into a really good foe. Sean, I was just thinking Sean saves Christmas. I'm thinking you may be saving Christmas because not only is that a problem, but we're not just resetting really quickly. No matter what you're buying, I went to buy a dress for my nephew's wedding. There was like nothing. There weren't many options. Went to buy a grill near the 4th of July. Not many options. So even this getting back to normal, it's not going to be so easy. So this is a wonderful way to literally put your name on that tree, have it secured, and you can relax over the holidays. All right, this girlfriend. This is a great way to do it. 300 already ordered in the show. Um, Shannon, I promise we're taking your call. I just need Amy oh, to get at least a few details out for anyone that still hasn't heard about this tree so girlfriend walk me through the top line features because one of the cool things is the remote that allows you to change not just the color but the function there are 16 different settings that you can do the, yeah it's basically a parade the tree is a circus and a parade that has come to your house <laughs> sean that's right and i'll do them fast now then we'll revisit them in detail you'll get your remote it has that six hour eight hour timer 16 functions that DM that you're seeing at the top is that demo mode meaning it's going to take you through every single feature and that's a great way when you get it home to get a better idea of all the functions but it's going to take you through everything from a beautiful warm white which is just a beautiful soft realistic glow it's going to take you into beautiful twinkle mode which was by customer request. It takes us into beautiful fade modes, pastels, multicolors. And then as we get lower on the remote, Sean, it takes us through functions like combining the twinkle, the pastel, the fade. So you're going to have tons of endless options, not just 16. It's combinations within each one as well. Which is crazy. And of course, keep in mind, right. LED lights are long lasting. LED lights are cool to the touch. LED lights, thanks to the stay lit technology of this tree. If one burns out, they all stay lit. Um, by That's the right. way, you have obviously the warm white. But now these trees are on demo mode to show you all the different twinkle, steady, fade, color, pastel. You guys requested that. And they're overlit, Amy, not to mention not just overlit with a ton more lights. They're those cute fairy lights. The, they're the fairy lights, Sean. And also, though they're beautiful to look at and they're a slight kind of raindrop shape, 
They're durable, they're beautifully made, and also these are hand wrapped, Sean. So from the center of your tree working out, these are wrapped so that from top to bottom, and when you look into the tree, Sean, you'll notice all the way into the trunk that you're seeing light. That's because they're wrapped from inside out. And that's what's giving you that beautifully lit effect that looks like little fireflies, and that also, being LED, to your point, not warm to the touch. So from the tip of your branches, from the top to the bottom, you're gonna see light. And just like you, I don't think it's overlit. I think it's perfectly lit. Yeah, Because there's not a space that look, you're seeing without light. More is better, if you ask me. All yep, right, I know you wanna too. show us how to assemble it, because that's the cool thing. Like, back in my single days, I had so many scratches. <laughs> it looked like I had been attacked <laughs> after trying to drag my tree up the stairs and then put it, the sections together and then figure <laughs> out the plugs. But before we show yeah. you the easy-peasy convenience of this tree, um, let me just say, We've got Shannon. She's been waiting in North Carolina. Oh, Shannon? I happen cool. to have a phone What's right here. Shannon? Oh, Shannon, are you there? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> um, it's really good to have you, Shannon. Before we get any of uh, the details out of the way, can I know when you like to put your tree up during the season and what your favorite ornament is? So I'm crazy for Christmas. So I usually put my tree up the day after Halloween, so November 1st. Me too, baby. And um, I keep it up, and I'm one of those. I like to enjoy it if I'm going to decorate. I want to enjoy it through the holiday season. But as soon as Christmas is over, if so is Christmas, I want everything up. And so I'm one of those. <laughs> and what's your favorite ornament, Shannon, that you have? Um, you know, my grandfather, um, he worked at Sears Roebuck for many, many, many years and retired from there. And every year he would bring us home um, uh, ornaments for Christmas. And I have a ton from him. He passed away a few years ago. It's his favorite time of the year. So those are special. And also I have a 12 year old son and every year he makes me an ornament. So Aww. I'd have to say one of those. So Miss Shannon, the, the, the question that I have next is, I guess you're getting yourself a new tree this year. So I actually purchased this tree last year uh -huh. uh, during Christmas in July. Yep. And uh, when they delivered it to us, uh, my son and I, you know, it was a crazy year for everybody. We took it out uh, just to make sure it worked and everything, and we never took it down. <laughs> so we kept it up <laughs> from it. the time we got it until the day after Christmas. And we didn't put ornaments on it until November 1st, but it was hilarious because he loves the colors and I love the lights, and so it would be a war. Um, and we would change it all the time. And my husband, usually we put our Christmas trip in front of the windows. And he was like, no, you're going to have the crazy until at least November 1st. <laughs> so we had to put it up against the wall on the side of the living room so nobody could see it. <laughs> Shannon, you're my people. I love it. You are my people. And it's so funny. You're making me think because, guys, Shannon and Amy, I have this, um, this gal that microbladed my eyebrows. Uh, unnecessary detail, but still. Um, and she told me that she, too, <laughs> loves Christmas so much that she wrapped her Christmas tree in saran wrap one year with the ornaments on it to like hermetically preserve it because she loved how she decorated it so much that year that she wrapped it in saran wrap. She made her husband help her roll it into the closet and so she's literally now ready for this year. So I thought that was kind of funny. Shannon, um, Amy is um, with Home Reflections. I'm sure she'd love to hear why you love the tree so much, the quality. Oh my gosh, yeah. the fairy lights. I have never, it is amazing. I, I just, the, just sitting back and looking at them and the way that you can change the lights and the different little psychedelic ways that you can do it. I mean, it's amazing. It's the prettiest tree I've ever had. Aww. I bet your son loves it too. You give a kid a remote and they just can be entertained all day with this. Oh, absolutely. And Aww. and like it's just we love changing it backwards and forth. He would start laughing and run down the hall and and change it, you know, to the <laughs> colors and then when he'd leave I'd change it to the white and it was you know, last year was just so crazy. I just felt like it I don't know, it just makes you happy when you see Christmas lights and it puts Thank you in that you. spirit of you know, warmth and, sure. you know, wanting to spend that time together. And I, I guess that's why we just ended up keeping it up because it, it just, yep. I don't know, it just made you feel good. Shannon, have Shannon, a Shannon, I said holiday. last year all bets were off. Do yeah. your thing. That's right. <laughs> you want to put the tree up in June? Zero judgment. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, well, a big hug to your son. Oh, and we so love much. you for being part of the Q family. Thanks you guys for are shopping. awesome. Thank you so much for all that y'all do. Great meeting you. Good night. Thanks.
All right, so um, Amy, before we go any further, uh, I want to give some updates, and I honestly think okay. it's really helpful to see all the sizes in one cluster. So what I'm going to do, Ms. Courtney Claus, can you walk everybody through, girl, the mm -hmm. sizes? Because Courtney's <laughs> over on the other side. I feel like I'm 